Welcome to Inhabitat.com's continuing coverage of the London Design Festival with me, Steve Lorimer. The designer's block is in a series of derelict buildings on Shoreditch High Street in London, yards away from corporate headquarters and finance activity of the City of London. Somehow, the power always gets turned on for the show, and DIY Kyoto found a way to measure it as it comes into their stand with the amazing Watson device that you can tell you how much energy you are using and how much it is costing you. Sarah Rich covered the unveiling of the Watson box in April at the Milan Designers Block, but I caught up with Greta Cork in London after a hard weekend in their justifiably mob stand. Okay, I'm talking from Greta from DIY Kyoto. So what on earth are we st staring at here? Well, you're actually looking at an electricity monitoring device, so it captures the whole electricity of your house. So whenever you switch something on or off, it immediately reacts and it shows it to you in either pounds per year or in watts. And it also has a third mode, which is uh, the non-verbal one, where it glows blue if you're good and it glows red when you're bad. And what makes you good and what makes you bad? Depending how much energy you're using. And, and so if I, if I take this thing here, it's reading about 72 per year, and what is it, what is it running off of? A couple of light bulbs? fan that's running that's yeah. over here, but say if we turn on this microwave over here, yeah. when, what, is, what is it showing now? What is it saying now? It goes up to 2,000 watts in total now. It actually uses 1,500 watts, but it's only marked mm. 700 watts on the microwave, so it's quite astonishing why it's got double the amount of energy. But now it's saying, it's saying 3,200 pounds yes. per year. Yes, that's at the moment. <laughs> yeah, that's based on the... Um, uh, electricity price at the moment we took the average out of that but you can set your own electricity price as well on the software which you can download if it's if it's suddenly cheap it's if there. it's suddenly <laughs> cheap or if you've got a tremendous good price plan which is doubtful nowadays anyway now how how do i tell from this box how much electricity i'm using because all i'm seeing here is a cord sticking into the powerpoint i'm using electricity now by running this thing what how the, how's this information coming in well first of all it's on a charge at the moment because it is and it's got rechargeable batteries in it so it runs uh without charge for four hours um the the system how it works is totally unobtrusive everyone can do it even women as i can i'm the good example for it Basically, where you've got your electricity meter at home, you've got your input power, the tail, that big lead which is coming in, which has got all your electricity. We've got like a clip. You just clip it around the, the, the lead, and that picks up the magnetic field, basically, of it, and that we converted that information into the watts and into pounds, and that sends it wirelessly to the front end. Now, I can see you have one over, over a rubber cord that's sitting here. Does it matter? You know, lots of people have Probably. steel ones that are sitting there. Does it matter? No which problem. One no problem whatsoever. And even we're just preparing for the American one, which she got three phase. So you just, we, well, we got a way of how to do that as well. So it's exactly on the same system. And so tell us about the materials that you're make, making this out of. Well, this is the handmade limited edition. There are only 250 available, and each one has got their own number and a certificate of authentication you're going to get. And uh, the wood is made out of old school benches, and uh, it's entirely set up in Bethnal Green. And the perspex is also done in Bethnal Green. <laughs> the acrylics. Out of local sources, I'm sure. Local sources, indeed. We didn't want to have a lot of transportation happening because of the environment. And so the manufacture that will be happening in a, in a mass-produced scale, how has that been arranged? Well, um, we basically launched a handmade one in Milan this year. Uh, we had a really high response to it, and we actually found our investors through that, which was great. So we finally got money. And um, so we straight went ahead and we are already now preparing the tooling now for the manufacture one. And finally, what on earth drove you to do this? What on earth ma made you want to shove in people's noses how much <laughs> money they were spending on electricity per year or if they didn't care about the money, how many watts they were shoving out per year? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, well, I've got two business partners, John and Rich. Uh, John went to the Royal College in 2000, and he'd done already an electricity project at that stage, but that was all wired in in the house, so it was a bit more complicated to use. Rich, who was two years later on the same course, saw John's project as well and got very inspired by it, and he found a way with the clip and to send wirelessly the information to the house. And um, so then I met Rich, and then Rich basically changed my life in the way that 
as an interaction designer, I just didn't want to do beautiful things. I wanted to make something more meaningful and communicate information which makes sense. And so we all came together and we came, we suddenly got functionality back in design. Okay, so I see one that's in pounds that you're using per year to run all the products, but what about euros, what about dollars, all, the, all those other countries that you might want to target? Well, we are actually, uh, we can use it anywhere. Um, we are getting, the euros are getting ready and the definitely the dollars anyway. So um, it will be available for all the countries necessary. For more on the London Design Festival, please go to inhabitant.com. For now, I'm Steve Lorimer.